Alex, my man, how is it going? It's going good, Gary. Yeah, thank you for spending the time to meet with me. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I had a really big first month. So, you know, everything's going amazing. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah phenomenal, dude. I'm, I'm happy to have you on the channel. It's been it's been a few months since I, I saw you out in Vegas. So it's it's cool to like, catch up, you know, doing this and then also just give you kind of the platform to explain what you've done over the past couple months. So you started working with me like early. So this was probably February, I want to say. March. Yeah, I think toward, yeah, around the beginning of March, I think we started working together. So I thought, which would, would be four months ago, five months ago now, probably. Um, Correct. Yep. So dude, just, just kind of walk me through, I guess, what you were doing like prior to working with me. Yeah, great question. So uh, before working with you, I actually had an e-commerce brand that I was running. Um, and I had been doing that full time for two years. But as you know, with um, with COVID-19 and a lot of the stuff, uh, there were supply chain issues. So I was at a point to where I had to really focus on my active income because what I was making from the business just wasn't sustaining me anymore. And so that's when I started looking on Twitter, you know, trying to get different ideas what I want to do. And then I kept seeing, you know, high ticket sales. And obviously you're someone who I kept seeing. Um, and, and yeah, so I just started looking into you, started following you, taking in your content. And I was like, this is what I want to want to do. So, you know, I, we messaged and then we connected that way. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then you had, you had did some, you did like HVAC sales or something like that prior to working with, correct? Yeah. So I had previous sales experience. Like I was selling air conditioners, um, ducks, you know, all that stuff. And that that's what I did. It was commission based. Um, but obviously, you know, I can't be in an addict in the middle of summer at 105 degrees. You know, there's only so much of that you could really take before you're like, I need to move on to something else. Yeah. Vegas weather is, a, a, is not too forgiving. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> Got you, dude. So you, you did all the HVAC sales and, and stuff like that. And then obviously when you transition something more like remote and kind of like at home, because obviously you used to e -com, like you don't want to go back out in the heat. Um, yeah, no way. So we started working together like right then and there, I guess, um, kind of walk me through like what it was like once we started working together and kind of like the next step like, from there on out. Yeah. So, you know, it was really amazing. Honestly, at that point, when we started working together, I didn't really have the type of money that I felt comfortable with to invest into something uh, besides what I was already doing. And so just really one thing, just from speaking with you, you know, on our call, I instantly knew like, this is a connection. This is somebody who I need to know and who I need to get to know, because they're really going to help me jump to that next step. And so uh, as soon as I signed up and made that jump, um, you know, I got training, obviously, and we started working one on one. And yeah, and then you actually put me on an offer, like, I think, literally three weeks into it, yeah. um, which was phenomenal. And um, yeah, so that's kind of what it looked like, uh, I guess, from just signing up to kind of where I'm at. And now I'm not on that offer anymore. But I still feel like those skills that I had learned just to, even in those first few weeks have just carried me over, um, you know, months later. Yeah. And I think um, it's interesting how different offers are like stepping stones to the next one. So you had like your HVAC would give you like your general background of sales, which is obviously a lot more different than like high ticket. Um, and then we we're selling for a creative agency and we won't say the exact name of the business, but we're selling for a creative agency and transparently, like, call flow wasn't exactly there. I think you got your reps in, like, you got a sale or two, but it, it wasn't the right fit for you in particular. So we transitioned out of that, and we rolled into um, what you're doing now, which is there's probably about a month, month and a half gap of time there. Um, and then we landed the offer you're doing now, which you've been describing to me as of more lately. And you've had probably the biggest month I've ever seen an appointment center have month one, which is literally absurd. So yeah. can you explain to the audience, like what the fuck happened last month? <laughs> yeah. So I found a really good offer and, um, you know, it was a very unique offer. And I just told myself, I was like, I know this is what I want to do. And I just had full confidence 
and everything. So obviously, you know, there's an interviewing process. So I found a really unique offer that um, said that they were helping people and that, you know, it was a very realistic, you know, 12 to 30 K a month opportunity. And so, you know, I applied, I beat out like 2000 people for that offer. Um, and yeah, I jumped into it head first and just with your training and, you know, that confidence that I had, I was able to do about a good amount in commissions my first month. Yeah. 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 Dude. So it's a marketing agency for law firms, correct? Correct. Yeah. So it's basically a marketing and sales agency. So they handle the marketing for uh, a huge law firm. So these law firms, they'll come to the company and they'll say, hey, we want to spend $3 million this week on marketing because um, we need more clients. So when we get the people that put in information online, um, I will go ahead and contact them and then I'll basically get them to work with the law firm and then the law firm gets paid on the back end. So um, if they get any money towards the, the uh, client, then they'll basically take like usually about 40% of whatever money is awarded to the client. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's such a unique offer because I've had people sell to lawyers, but essentially what you're doing is not even really selling because it's, it's essentially free. Like what it is you're offering. <laughs> it's almost like a rev share as in if they make their, the law, the lawyer makes that client money, like that's it. And you just get paid per book deployment. So it's, it's not like you're, you're selling something essentially free. And it's kind of like, if the client makes money, then the lawyer makes money. So it's, yeah. there's no friction in the sale really, um, which I think is why you had such a big month that you did. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I, it's just, it's very, it flows really easily. Um, I'm not pitching, you know, crazy hard. It's, it's not an hour call, you know, it's typically about 10 minutes, the quicker I get, the better I get, it usually shortens my time. And so um, I think the biggest thing with this is just, you are dealing with people who may have some life threatening injuries, or they may be dealing with deaths of certain family members that they may be filing for. Um, so you just really have to show that empathy to them and add the little tips and tricks to kind of get them to get that point to work with that law firm. Um, which I'm kind of learning now, but it's a phenomenal opportunity. I'm really grateful. Yeah, I feel like it takes like a special type of person for something like that. And it has to be genuinely rewarding to like have someone who's like in a tough situation get paid out. Like you were just saying earlier, like literally like 400 grand, uh, 600 grand for like some of these settlements, which is you know, Yeah, yeah, it's really insane. And you know, there's a lot of competition too. There's not just one law firm, right? Yeah. I mean, these law firms, they, they've they been getting money for a very long time. So, you know, I have to sell myself and position myself and how, uh, just by showing empathy and connecting with the person, uh, that's how I'm going to get the sell and what's going to differentiate me from 10 other law firms that are calling them. Right. Did you have any massive uh, like learning curves when you first... Cause you've been on the gig for like 45 days now, probably. Yeah. 45 days. So exactly. your first like week, two weeks. Did you have any like massive like learning curves or like realizations you came to that made you perform better? Yeah, for sure. So um, I, the first two weeks I, I didn't do as much. I was doing maybe like five to six deals a day. And so I quickly realized that, you know, it, I guess the biggest learning curve was how I had to approach and frame the call. And I always remember, you know, stuff that you trained me on is always like present in three. So I just wanted to add these little things that would make me different to where I could get more sales. So, you know, I'd just be able to frame the call better and then present it in a better way. That way, when it was time for them to sign the papers, um, it was, it, everything was just flowing up to that point and there was really no sales pressure. It was very easy for them to do so. Yeah, and I think the game that you're playing is more of a volume game because it's not like you're making like a grand per deal. It's it's more of a volume game. So making that call as efficient as possible, it's literally what's going to make you more money. Sure. Um, just to add to that point, like I could break it down now, obviously that I have more experience. I can't say, how are you on a call? Because if I say, how are you? That usually will add about three to four minutes each call. So if I'm doing 150 
to 200 dials, that could add an extra two hours onto my day. And within that two hours, I could have got four to six deals. And right. then you just kind of keep doing the math. So it's just little things like that to where you definitely have to be very efficient and make sure that you're doing a good number of dials. Yeah. And, and once you're already closing, like once you're beyond the like, I know what I'm doing, I know how to handle the call and I'm closing tons of deals. It's more like, how do I maximize like my day? And it's almost like a time efficiency thing is what makes you more money. So it's like, how can I close uh, you know, 20 minute call in 10 minutes so I can do double the amount of calls without like, cause it's like, if you want to make more money, it's like, you don't have to work 17, you know, 16 hour days just to make more money. It's like, you can exactly just make the most out of a, like each dial, like increase your closing rate. And then you can yeah. also condense the call from 20 minutes to like 10 minutes. And if you do literally both of those, like two things, you can four X your income. Um, exactly. Exactly. So true. So I think beyond like month one, you've obviously closed a shit ton of deals and like, yeah, you're cool with saying the number. Uh, what did you do in commissions like month one? Yeah, so I did close to 17,000 in commissions month one, um, which is astonishing. Like I'm super grateful for that. And I actually was the second out of 20 people. I was number two on the leaderboard. And the guy who was number one has been there for like a year. Um, so closing Bible, baby. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So I, I mean, definitely closing Bible. So I just. I just feel like I'm just bringing a different element, you know, that separates me from other people who are doing that position. And it's really served me the training that I got, you know, working with you. It's, it's amazing, man. Dude, that's, that's phenomenal. Um, what are you going to do to be number one? Oh yeah. I mean, I'm already just, I'm going to meditate, take a cold shower. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, no, I think just just focusing on efficiency, uh, like you said, just being more efficient. Every call that I have is a seed or an opportunity for myself to get to get a result. So that's just how I'm approaching everything. Even if I'm tired at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna I'm gonna work until I hit my goal. So currently, right now, my goal is about uh, thirteen to fifteen deals a day. Um, which that's going to put me well over $20,000 in commissions for the month. Yeah. Um, so I'm not stopping until I hit that goal. So it's not really a time thing for me. It's more so uh, just a number and achieving that number. Yeah. Gotcha, dude. Gotcha. Um, yeah, it's it's just mind-blowing to me, like what appointment setters are are making. Because like, like I was telling you earlier, we have another client, Levi, that's hitting like, super similar numbers like 2025 or so is what he should hit like this month so it's bizarre to see setters literally doing bigger numbers than like most closers do which is so cool right um, <laughs> exactly i guess my last uh my last question would just be um to someone who is like in your shoes like prior to working with me like what advice would you give to that person like uh just from the journey you've been on the past like four or five months? Yeah, I would just tell them like, first of all, you guys got this. Like I know sometimes when you're trying to find an offer or um, if stuff maybe doesn't pan out exactly how you want to, you know, you could get down on yourself, but just know that you genuinely got this and really invest into a mentor who's going to cut your time shorter. And um, it's really going to allow the journey to be a lot uh, more smoothly and I just recommend like work with Garrett <laughs> like <laughs> genuinely because Garrett has really changed my life like I know I have not only a friend for the rest of my life but just the network that I have access to other killers doing the same thing that I'm doing it's just helping me grow exponentially and um, and just really take seriously uh, what you want to do with your life and invest in someone who's going to help you get there quicker Dude, for real, thank you. And like, I know when we started working together and you explained like, um, you know, just that you had like a family, like you had a, a wife and kids, which is like, it, it brought a different level of like fulfillment with what I do. Cause I was like, like obviously I want to get every single client results, like no doubt. But like when there's like a, a whole family unit that like I can help like A, put food on the table, but like you guys can go do like, 
dope shit. Like you're doing, mm-hmm. you're doing good numbers now. Like you yeah. can go like, you know, provide more for your family, like go do more things. Like you're hitting the numbers that you wanted to hit when we first got started. And there's just a different level of like fulfillment that I get to like help that happen. It's so cool to me. Yeah. That's amazing, man. Awesome. Awesome. Well, dude, thank you again for like hopping on. We'll have to do this again. And you know, uh, a month or two, you know, a couple months, whenever, and, and have a progress update because you're absolutely crushing it. And it's the coolest thing in the world to see. Yeah. I appreciate it, Garrett. Thank you so much, man. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. All righty.